Let me show you how you can transform your game very quickly using our system. Here's a boy I started coaching about a month ago. This was her first lesson. And he had a really, really messed up serve. And that's the after. That's one month later. So let's take a look at how we did it. First, you see that knee buckle. He swings his toss around. He's completely off balance. No power. And just really, really, he was very uh, upset about his serve. He said he didn't want to play sets or points because he couldn't serve. So the first thing I did on the very first lesson was tell him to get your hands together right here in the beginning. So you put your strings and your hand together. And then try and come down together, but then you see his arms splays out. You can see there how his arms are all discombobulated. And then he hooks the toss in, and his body's straight up and down here. So he hasn't even made contact, and there's no motion going up or into the ball. You can see as he hits the ball, he's falling down. Right? He looks like a man falling out of a tree. So uh, what we did on the, uh, the very first lesson was just try to take his crazy serve and, and get him a beginning. In the second lesson, I wanted to get his knee moving in the right way, so I wanted to simplify things. So he was buckling his knee in the beginning, but now watch here. I just told him, I said, just push down on your left foot and don't bend your knees hardly at all. So already we took a lot of the garbage out of the serve. It's looking much better already. So remember, this is 15 minutes every week out of our hour lesson we spend on the serve. So this is the third lesson coming up here. So here's what I had him do. If you notice, he's stepping over the line. I told him take a step as he tosses because that would fix his toss quite a bit. And you notice as he steps... It, it does seem to keep him on balance more, and it, it, it does fix his toss. Uh, the other thing I told him was to keep his right arm very quiet. And he's starting together. He takes that step. Now he's still buckling the knee just a little, but not as much as before. And look at that, the nice sloped shoulders here. And then also, see that left arm? I had him bring it in so he stays more on balance. You see that? So that left arm is very important. Um, so here it is again. He'll take that step. And it's just, this is the, la the fourth lesson, last weekend. And what a difference. He can put the ball where he wants. He can put the ball where he wants. And uh, he really comes from stable footing. See, now he presses down into that front knee. Now here I've got him bending his knee right over his toe, I told him. Just straight forward, no more buckling. And you see, now he's pushing up into the serve. He looks very on balance. That left hand comes in, still not as good as I want. But you can see he's getting a pop and some spring-loadedness off that serve. So there's, he takes that little step and he pushes down. The knee comes straight over the toe. The arms are quiet. Now he brings his foot up on his own. I didn't tell him to do that. He just seems to like it. It's fine with me. I don't really care about style as much as fundamentals. Uh, so he likes to bring that foot up now. So all of a sudden, the kid's getting confidence in his serve. So take one more look. Before, nothing, absolutely nothing. And now, the kid looks like he has a pretty decent serve. So come join us on our Facebook page or brodytennis.com.